Leadership. Community service. Aerospace and STEM. Emergency services. Wingmanship. This is the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron. Hello everyone, my name is Cadet Airman First Class Mirka Jambudi from the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron. Today, we will be going over Civil Air Patrol Signature Resources, a CAP sample email signature, how to create a signature in Gmail, and creating multiple signatures. As part of a writer's responsibilities when sending or replying to emails, it is important to include a signature block with each email. It's a one-time process to set everything up, and as you advance through the Civil Air Patrol program, you will just need to go back and edit the specifics of your signature or create additional ones. Some references we will be using is the CAPP-12, the CAP Guide to Effective Communication, and the Sample Signature Block from the Go Civil Air Patrol website, which can be accessed to the link here or by simply looking it up. Here is a sample signature block that will be included at the end of every email you send. Though with your personal information substituted, of course. Note that the steps that we will be going over today are for implementing a signature in Gmail. First, you need to go to the home page of your email. To the left of your profile picture is the icon for settings. You need to click on the icon. Clicking on the icon will give you a drop down menu with many items such as themes and display density, but you want to click on See All Settings under Quick Settings. After doing so, you will be led to the general page of settings. Stay on the general settings page and scroll all the way down until you see signature. Now, underneath the no signature button, you want to hit create new. Title your new signature CAP Signature 1. Now, you'll have access to the text box. It may be hard to implement the signature across different devices and platforms, but here's the standard version for Gmail. The preferred version includes an image of the CAP logo, which you can take from the Go Civil Air Patrol website link mentioned previously. You can also copy and paste the text from their website and substitute your own details. This will ensure formatting will adhere to protocol. The signature always uses the font Arial in size 12. It should have your grade, name, comma, CAP. You can list your squadron and wing or your duty positions. And for those with multiple duties, if you have multiple duty positions, you can have multiple signatures for each respective position. This is so that when you send an email, you can select what signature you want to use depending on the duty position the email is more related to. For example, one could have an email signature for encampment business while also having an email signature for squadron business. Now, to create a new signature, hit Create New. Name your new signature CAP Signature 2 and you can just simply implement the new details you want to substitute for your second signature. You can do this multiple times. Finally, hit Save Changes and you're ready to implement your signatures. Finally, to implement the signature in your email, all you have to do is hit Insert Signature, which is a pen icon, and then you can choose from whichever duty position you want to use. Now, you're finally ready to hit Send on that email.